Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Monday. Welcome back to my channel. We are kicking off this week with a, uh, a review and comparison of a newer skincare product that I have been testing out from Paula's Choice, um, that being their newer uh, Skin Perfecting 25% AHA and 2% BHA Exfoliating Peel. This is a rinse off treatment, so not anything that you leave on overnight or anything like that. You could basically view this as a mask. Yes, we're doing it on a Monday. It's a mask Monday, guys. <laughs> so um, I've been curious about this product because I have used two very similar products in the past that um, I have already compared together. So I will certainly compare those two products to this one. And um, the two products that I'm talking about are the uh, Drunk Elephant TLC Baby Zucari Baby Facial, Zucari Baby Facial. I put in a lot of extra words. I'm gonna link the product down below. <laughs> uh, and also the Ordinaries version, which they call the AHA 30% plus 2% peeling solution. Now, we have three products that are very similar at three very different price points here, right? So the Ordinary is a super affordable version at $7.20. <laughs> we have the, what I would consider kind of the mid-range version of the Paula's Choice option here, which retails for, wait for it, $39. And then we have obviously the Drunk Elephant. We all know that Drunk Elephant is a little bit more of a luxury priced skincare line. So the full size of that, I believe, is somewhere in the $80 range. I have actually been through, um, I'm almost finished with my bottle of the Ordinary's Peeling Solution. I've been using that for a couple of years now. Um, I've been through uh, a couple of bottles of the TLC Sukari, to Sukari Baby Facial. Um, I think that both products are great. Um, the thing about those two is they give me very similar results, which is what I've always said, um, that the result, the end result is mostly the same. It's the way that the product feels on the skin, um, sort of how the skin um, feels maybe a little bit more conditioned or more soothed after using the TLC baby facial. But that being said, like you can get that soothing feeling after the ordinary by just, you know, help applying like a moisturizer or an oil afterwards as well. Um, if you experience any type of irritation or anything like that, I just find the baby facial to be a little bit, um, more gentle on the skin, but still very effective, obviously. So I think it just kind of depends on your preference, your budget, what you want to spend. I don't know. Where do you want to put your money? <laughs> do you want to put it in masks? Do you want to put it in serums, moisture? It just, it depends, right? Like everybody kind of has their own budget, their own things that they're kind of looking for. And there are some people like me who just like to try everything, right? Just to be able to compare it all and see what I like the most. So for me, um, when this hit the market, I was curious because I was like, oh, look at that. Very similar ingredients. Now the percentages are obviously a little bit off, but again, it's kind of the same idea where it is a weekly peel for your face. Um, this particular one here, you apply obviously to clean skin once a week. They ask you to apply a generous layer. I don't do what I would consider a generous layer. It's probably actually a pretty thin layer. I find that to be just fine. Um, and you leave it on for about 10 minutes and then you rinse it off. I have left this one on longer because, well, I get distracted. <laughs> Usually when I am doing like a mask or something like that, um, I will take the time that the mask is sitting on my face to either go lay on the bed and veg out and scroll through Instagram or I will take like a Lysol wipe and I'll wipe down my bathroom or something like that. So time just kind of gets away from me. I don't think that I've had any adverse effects personally from leaving this on past the 10 minute mark, but I think that also has to do with my skin type, which by the way, I am in my forties. Um, I have very oily skin still. My skin's very tough. 
Um, I certainly would not consider myself as someone who has sensitive skin in any kind of way. My skin's very used to exfoliants and both physical and um, chemical exfoliants. And so for me, leaving it on a little bit longer isn't a big deal, but I would probably recommend at least the first few times that you follow the actual instructions before you dive in and leave it on for 15 or 20 minutes. Um, the end result is that you are left with skin that feels a whole lot smoother. The, the 25% um, AHAs, and I'll tell you what the AHAs are here in a minute that are contained within this, definitely do a very good job of breaking down any dead skin cells that you have hanging around on your skin. Um, when you rinse this off, they sort of get rinsed away with the water and the washcloth, which is what I personally use to remove this. And my skin is left extremely smooth. I also love the addition of the BHA in here because as someone who has enlarged pores and oily skin, I can be prone to both sebaceous filaments as well as blackheads. Blackheads not so much anymore because I've been so extremely diligent about my skincare for the last few years that blackheads have really kind of not been a thing for me anymore, which is fantastic because that was the thing that was like the real bane of my existence since my teenage years. Like I had some pimples back then, but it was mostly blackheads and those can be really stubborn as you know, but consistent use of BHA, um, and most of mine honestly have always come from Paula's Choice. That is where I actually started my skincare journey is with this particular brand. Um, it really changed my skin so much once I started using specifically the Paula's Choice BHA products on my skin. It took probably almost a year before I really saw like major massive differences. But being consistent during that first year really was so beneficial for my skin. And ever since then, I've been very loyal to the brand itself, but just BHA in general, even though my skin's in pretty good condition now, I, I still put BHA on it to maintain it. So a product like this is fantastic because it's a once a week treat for you. And if you don't wanna use BHA on a daily basis, this one is great because you know, you leave it on the skin for 10, 15 minutes, you rinse it off and you have the benefits of the AHAs and the BHAs working together. And then you can go on and you know put on your skincare routine for the rest of the evening or the day and you're left with this really nice, clean, fresh skin. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the product on the website and I'll just kind of read you um, a few things that they say about the product and um, clarify anything that I may have missed in my little intro here for it. So they say that this is a multi-acid rinse off exfoliate, exfoliant peel that dramatically resurfaces the skin to visibly smooth wrinkles, refine rough, bumpy texture, brighten, tone, and unclog the pores. Um, the size of this is one fluid ounce, by the way. Um, I find a little bit goes a long way. I don't think you need a thick layer of this on your skin. I think it's actually better when it is a thinner layer. Um, by the way, they are currently, as of the time that I'm filming this video, out of stock of this product, but I will still link it down below. I will also put links to the other two products that I mentioned. So if you would like to go compare the ingredient list side by side, you can do that. Um, but really the main point is they're all very similar products that are gonna give you similar results at different price points. But I think the best thing to do is to look at the ingredients and see if there's anything in either of the three products that you don't agree with or that you don't like or that doesn't work for you. You know, do the research. <laughs> it's important, right? Okay, so um, the acids that they have in here, let's talk about those. So for the AHAs that they have in here, they have a blend of glycolic, lactic, and personally, I really love lactic acid on my skin, mandelic, malic, and tartaric. So those are all the different AHAs that you are getting on here. Sorry, I have like a very itchy nose this morning. Um, these are intended to reduce the appearance of sun damage and fine lines and wrinkles. Now, here's the thing. This is not like a magic bottle of like wrinkle eraser. It's, it's not going to happen, guys. <laughs> Nothing that you put topically on your skin really is going to like erase the wrinkles off your face, right? If you, if you really want kind of a magic 
Wrinkle fix, um, Botox, Dysport, Xeomin are great for that. Personally, I do get Xeomin on my forehead lines um, and my 11s because those were pretty strong. I've been doing that for over a year now and I really like the more youthful appearance of my forehead with that. But I can tell you that no wrinkle cream that I had used up until the point that I started the ZMN um, really had a major drastic effect on my forehead lines, which is ultimately why I decided at the age of 41 at the time to, um, to start looking into using, you know, the, uh, the Botox options out there, if you will. Botox is actually the brand. I personally, by the way, prefer Xeomin because it doesn't have all of the accessory proteins. Um, I did do a video about my experience with getting the Xeomin. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for like some kind of permanent wrinkle reduction that is very much more dramatic, um, that you can see very quickly, that is a way to do it, obviously. It's not for everybody and I'm not encouraging you to do it, but I am always upfront about what I do. I don't get it around my eyes at all, but I have really oily skin, so this, I don't have the fine lines here yet. Um, I will at some point, I'm sure. I don't know that I would treat those with Botox necessarily unless it became a real concern with like makeup collecting in there. That was kind of one of the annoying things about my forehead lines was, you know, the makeup. Like I would constantly be like, wiping it out of my forehead lines and out of the 11s because mine were pretty strong. I have a very expressive face. So anyway, um, the BHA is beta hydroxy acid. Um, that really works to unclog and refine the pores. It's going to keep them clear. When your pores are clear of blackheads and excessive sebaceous filaments, um, your pores look a lot smaller to begin with. Then you add in some niacinamide and you really start seeing an impact on your pores, but I won't go into niacinamide. You guys have heard me talk about that particular ingredient enough. Um, they also have some butterfly pea flower extract in here, which helps to calm the signs of redness. Um, it soothes irritation and gives the peel its natural lilac color. And it really does have this beautiful kind of iridescent lilac look to it, if you can see it there. Um, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's a great product. Um, it gets really great reviews. It's effective. That's the thing. Um, anytime that you're going to be using such a high concentration of things like glycolic, like lactic, mandelic, tartaric acids, it is going to break down the dead skin cells that are kind of hanging on and making your skin look dull or dry or dehydrated. It's going to sweep those away. And the other benefit of doing something like this once a week is it's sweeping all that dead skin cells away, all those dead skin cells away so that your skincare can actually absorb much more readily and effectively. So when you do something like this at least once a week, just a nice gentle kind of chemical peel that isn't like super irritating to the skin. Afterwards, when you apply your skincare, that skincare doesn't have to travel down several layers of dead skin cells to get to the healthy skin and then work its way down those layers as well, right? Like you're giving your skincare a little bit of a head start. So that's what I think something like this is really effective for, is for clearing all of the dead stuff away and allowing your skincare to really dive in and start doing its work, whether that's your toners, your serums, your moisturizers, your oils, all of that stuff. So in terms of, again, how this compares to the other two options that I mentioned, same results. <laughs> so here's the thing. If you're someone who is very budget conscious, just go for the ordinary option. It is going to peel your face. <laughs> it's going to. It's a, it's a gentle peel. So, well, I will say it's a little bit stronger than probably... Paula's Choice and the Drunk Elephant version, um, but that's because, you know, it doesn't contain all of like the more like soothing ingredients that you're going to get in the other two options, which is probably why those two are at a different price point. Um, but you, you get that effect of getting rid of the dead skin cells, and then you can go in with your toners and your serums and just kind of calm everything down and get your skin balanced out again and move on with your life. So do I think it's worth splurging on this for $39? 
I do because I think it's an effective product and generally I just love the formulation of Paula's Choice in general. Um, they're a brand that I definitely trust and have come to rely on for a lot of my skincare needs. Um, and I think that the Drunk Elephant version is great as well if you have the money to blow on it. I do believe that Drunk Elephant now offers like just um, on an ongoing basis like smaller sizes of the TLC baby facial. I think they're like 25 bucks and it also comes with a little bit of the virgin marula oil like a little sample of that so if you've never tried it you can do that um so i'll probably link the lesser expensive um drunk elephant option down below so if you do want to try that and compare it you can do that i don't think this one comes in a sample size but let me double check on that because paula's choice has been much better about having samples of their products available for sale so that you can get like you know maybe not start out with a full size, <laughs> start out with a little sample if you want to. And here's one thing that I definitely want to bring up. If you are going to be using chemical exfoliants like this or even manual exfoliants on your face, whether it's a microdermabrasion scrub or a Clarisonic or other type of cleansing device, always make sure that when you're either going outside during the day or not, like even if you're just sitting in front of windows that you protect your skin with sunscreen. Um, sunscreen is obviously a very important part of your skincare routine. And if it's not something that you're doing on a regular basis, you should. But I especially think that you should be using a sunscreen when you're using your exfoliants. It's just, it's a smart thing to do. Protect your investment. Um, all of these skincare things that all of us like buy and use on a daily basis can be very expensive. And if you're gonna put in the time, the money, the energy, um, protect that investment of all three of those things. You know, you certainly don't want to spend a lot of time on your skin and then go sit out and fry your face in the sun because you like a nice tan. <laughs> That's what self tanners and bronzers are for at this point. So rely on those to get the color on your face. All right, you guys, I hope that this review was helpful. I definitely give it two thumbs up. I could see myself repurchasing this one. Um, you know, I've certainly repurchased the Drunk Elephant myself and um, I haven't had to repurchase the Ordinary yet, but I would probably consider repurchasing that one once I finish it as well. So I don't know. It's totally up to you guys. You guys know I like to test a lot of things. <laughs> so for me, I just kind of make the budget for it. But if it's a concern for you, there are different options. Um, let me know if you have any questions down below in the comment section. Be sure to open up that um, description box down below. There's lots of information there, like links to products. And that way you can go and read up on the ingredients. And if you choose to buy something, you know where to shop. All right, you guys, have a great rest of your Monday, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.